that. Thanks for uh, agreeing to the interview. Um, would you like to explain why you why you've decided to run um, for election in Gospel Oak? Well, I'm, I'm running because I think all the three parties, main parties, are pro cuts parties. And particularly when I saw their material come through my door, uh, being involved as a RMT activist and involved in the anti cuts movement for years in Camden, I felt that somebody needed to, to put an alternative forward, an anti cuts alternative forward. So um, I put myself forward as a task candidate and was adopted. So could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, you say you're uh, an RMT in the in the RMT. Yeah, I mean, I've been a trade unionist and a trade union board secretary and activist since the age of 19. Um, I have a lifelong socialist, been involved in many anti cuts activities, also defending working class people at work on the estates. I've dealt with, uh, I'm chair of my tenants association. Yeah. I've dealt with uh, an anti uh, a woman and her son were facing deportation to Kenya. I fought that case for five years, mm -hmm. successfully got them leave to stay in the country. As I say, my whole life has been struggle for ordinary people. I was involved in the poll tax movement, mm -hmm. uh, both in Scotland and in England, building anti, the anti poll tax mm -hmm. movement as well. So how long have you lived in uh, Gospel Oak? I've lived, uh, I moved over from West London uh, to live with my uh, my partner Sylvia 18 mm -hmm. years ago. So what are your priorities for Gospel Oak? The priorities for Gospel Oak, as far as I see it, and for the rest of Camden, is to fight back against one they are trying to move out working class families, up to 761 families, basically because uh, uh, for the crime of being poor, for the crime of being working class also to resist the ever-increasing rent increases. They went up over 8% last year. Uh -huh. I just had a letter in my door a couple of days ago, again up 4.2% this year. This is council year. rents, yeah. This is kind of, I'm a council, I live in a council house, yeah, uh -huh. have done. And my, our daughters went to state schools as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and and your, your third, sorry, before I rudely interrupt you, you said you, you had a third priority for Gospel Oak. No, the third priority. Um, I think the, the other priority is there's regeneration mm -hmm. of the local area, which is a big upheaval. Uh, and there is still a worry in that area that uh, many of the rebuilding will be for luxury flats that won't be able to be afforded by local people. Mm -hmm. when there is a dire need for social housing or council housing in the area. Mm -hmm. As I say, what we need is affordable rents. So you're uh, standing for TUSC, mm -hmm. Trade Union and Socialist Trade Union Coalition. and Socialist Coalition. For people who haven't heard of it before, can you explain a little bit about it? Was, it was formed by uh, uh, the, the RMT. It involves a coalition uh, of um, a number of uh, active trade unionists the RMT mainly, but other rank and file trade unions, and the trade unions for a whole number of trade unions. It also involves the two largest uh, socialist organisations, the Socialist Party and the Socialist Workers' Party, and many non-aligned socialists uh, and activists as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, I think part of the problem that, that smaller parties always have, or independents, is getting their name out there and being seen as a credible um, force at uh, election times. How do you seek to overcome that? Well, the RMC had that problem when it uh, founded the Labour Party at the turn of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. The Labour were getting 1%, 2%, and people were saying, mm -hmm. why are you standing against the Liberals? And uh, the thing is, you have to start somewhere, and it is a question of spreading the message that there is an alternative mm -hmm. to the uh, neoliberal policies the anti-working class policies of all the three major parties. And again, what made me angry with the leaflets was Labour blaming the Tories for the cuts, the Tories blaming Labour, the Liberals blaming everybody else. And every single one of those parties has the same ideology. Mm -hmm. And there is an alternative ideology, and that alternative is socialism. Yeah, so what, like you're saying, one of the key themes of Tusk's campaign, I guess, is the cuts. Public services. 
I mean, what what single cut in Camden are you most concerned about? Well, there's, uh, over the four-year period, you talk about £83 million pound of cuts, almost a 1,000 jobs are going to go. Uh, this does affect probably some of the most uh, vulnerable people. It includes uh, uh, children, pensioner groups. Uh, we saw with the, the school for deaf children as well, you know, the, the, the extent of cuts, I know that, that uh, they backtracked on that. Yeah, yeah. The fact is, well, they backtracked because there was mass opposition. Yeah. And the question is, at the same time, they're talking about building a £123 million town hall. Uh -huh. They're forcing people out of Camden and they're looking to sell that property at market rates to raise millions of pounds for their, for their nice little projects. And the money is there in the reserves as well. They've got 180 seven million pound of reserves uh -huh. and yes they can't resist on their own but Camden Council the Labour group could actually say we're not going to implement cuts similar to Lambeth that Liverpool did in the, in the mid 80s uh -huh. Uh -huh. and say we are going to resist similar to the movement that's happening in Southampton at the moment if you like to say we will not uh, we will not be the party that implements cuts but unfortunately with very few exceptions uh -huh. they are going to do that so you, I wasn't quite sure whether you're saying that the council doesn't have to implement cuts because it can spend the reserves, yeah. or whether you're saying that they should just simply refuse to to implement cuts and spend money. That I think they, they I think they, I think they should refuse to implement cuts. Now, if that meant for a period, now obviously there's a threat of uh, Eric Pickles coming in. Yeah. Let them come in, and then we'll resist. Mm -hmm. We'll build a resistance to force that out. But you have to fight to stand any chance of, uh, of winning. And again, Lambeth should be linking up with, with other areas. I don't think Labour can do that anymore. Yeah. Whatever the result is, Labour will be in control of this council. If I was elected, there would be somebody who would vote against every single cut in this area. And if you like, that uh, would be a start of building uh, the movement in this area. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers.